Hello and welcome to our Pedagogical Documentation Film Festival assignment. This assignment was completed by Alicia, Alex, Brooke, and Haley. In this presentation, we will discuss what pedicle documentation is, why pedicle documentation is useful, what makes documentation pedagogical, how we can create high quality, meaningful, and useful pedicle documentation, and comparing low, moderate, and high quality pedicle documentation, as well as a conclusion and a reference page. What is pedagogical documentation? Pedicle documentation is the process of gathering and analyzing a wide range of evidence of a child's thinking and learning over time using the insights gained to make the child's thinking and learning visible to the child and the child's family. Children's learning can be gathered from things such as observations, photos, videos, voice recordings, and notes to name a few. The educator then analyzes the information in collaboration with the children and their family to gain insights into the children's learning paths and processes. Having gained these insights, the educator can effectively support and further the learning of the children in their classroom. In comparing a display to pedagogical documentation, a display is con considered to be a posting of pictures of events or posting children's representations of learning without context or analysis. Whereas pedagogical documentation is not reserved for a set amount of time, but instead an ongoing basis in, when, in which an educator can revisit and rethink evidence as part of a reoccurring process that promotes children's learning and growth. Pedagogical documentation is useful as it provides evidence of the children's learning. It also is useful as it is used to extend learning. Children are able to better critically reflect on their learning and to further build upon their skills and concepts which are already acquired. By documenting children's learning, we are able to make their learning visible to them. Once something is documented, it becomes easier to understand how a child thinks, learns, and understands a concept. With pedagogical documentation, it then becomes easier to assess a child's needs, interests, and strengths. There is a distinct difference between documentation, displays, and pedagogical documentation. It is one thing to keep a record and document what is going on inside your classroom using a variety of mediums. If we don't look back at it and use it to reflect, to formally assess, and to inform our practice, it, is mer it merely remains as documentation. It doesn't become pedagogical until it is used in a way that improves our practice. Analyzing the documentation itself can allow us to learn about our students in our own practice at a much deeper level. Being able to go back and compare work over time, to look at the evidence of outcomes in various tasks, and to continually add to the documentation turns it from a piece of evidence into a working process. Documentation can also be made pedagogical when used to support dialogue with families. When discussing play-based learning, being able to point to specific outcomes and successes and relate it to the kindergarten program can help families understand the pedagogy going on in our class and be more prepared to support the work we do at home. There are a variety of ways we can make documentation high quality, useful and meaningful. In order to understand how we can achieve this, we first need to understand the purpose of documentation. One main reason we may do documentation is to build family connections. If a child is able to share what they are learning in program through documentation, Families will feel connected to this learning experience and may even extend this learning in their home environment. Another reason we may do documentation is to have a record of what children were interested in in order to revisit and reevaluate classroom setup and items in program. Now that we know why we create documentation, let's explore how. In order to make documentation of quality, it must be objective and it must vary in format and must summarize without over explaining just what the child or children in the scenario are doing. To make it meaningful and useful, it must be easy to read and easy for the eye to follow. It must connect back to at least one of the four foundations from How Does Learning Happen to be of quality.
The child in this piece of documentation is demonstrating characteristics in line with overall expectation 15. Demonstrate an understanding of numbers using concrete materials to explore and investigate counting, quantity, and number relationships. The child is demonstrating characteristics in line with specific expectation 15.1. Investigate the idea that a number's position in the counting sequence determines its magnitude. The child is using careful planning to build and draw out his cups. The child is using abstract thinking to use the paper to go from a 2D object to a 3D object. And it seems to be that he is using various mathematical skills to count the lines and likely traced the straight lines for the cups. This piece of documentation is considered low quality. It is considered low quality because it does not encompass enough characteristics of a good quality piece of documentation and therefore it will not be as helpful in future teaching situations. This piece of documentation is product focused. Therefore, it does not show enough of the process for it to be a quality piece of pedagogical documentation as we as educators are not product focused but rather process focused. This piece of documentation also does not inform educators for future use. There are only three photos and minimal written word. Even though quality documentation does not need to be long in length, nor does it need to be incredibly detailed, there is not enough detail within this piece of documentation to consider it meaningful for future. In this piece of documentation, the children are observing the dinosaur while participating in a game of I Spy. This piece of documentation demonstrates the children using descriptive words to describe the dis dinosaur, such as using words to describe the dinosaur's texture, weight, size, and color. This activity exhibits the children's ability to describe three-dimensional objects using their oral communication skills. This documentation dis demonstrates the following overall expectation and specific expectation. The overall expectation is 17. Describe, sort, classify, build, and compare two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional figures and describe the location and movement of the object through investigation. And the specific expectation is 17.1. Explore, sort, compare the attributes and the properties of traditional and non-traditional two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional figures. The dinosaur piece of documentation is a moderate example of quality documentation. The documentation demonstrates evidence of the children's learning through their oral communication by using descriptive details to describe the dinosaur. It is evident that the educator is able to understand the children's interests as he or she has picked the dinosaur picture, but the documentation does not show the process behind why the picture was picked, making this a product-based piece of documentation. For this piece of documentation to become high quality, pictures or texts of the process should be included. By providing pictures of the process, it would give evidence of how the activity was facilitated and what can be done next to further scaffold the learning of the children. This is an example of high quality documentation. It contains multiple pictures combined with written notes on what is being shown. The document is written in a way that is collaborative between the teacher and student and shows that a conversation was had in creating it. By using descriptive terminology such as geometric shape names, colors, emotions, and material names, the child is learning to describe their work properly and to call out specific items. This also allows the educator to make connections to the kindergarten program. The document is very visually appealing and well organized. This makes it easy to follow through and highlight details of notes while reflecting on it. By including picture and words, it allows the educator to look back at it reflectively and have all of the information they need contained in one place. It also creates a very complimentary setup for sharing the documentation with families in a way that needs um, little additional explanation. The way that this documentation is set up will make it very easy for the educator to reflect upon the work of themselves and the child. They can look for the successes of the activity, all of the great vocabulary, the overall finished product, and look for areas to build upon. For example, they may notice that while some aspects were laid out to begin with, the overall shapes afterward, the child went and added hair, eyes, and some buttons. 
This may inform their practice to continue in the future, leaving odds and ends around so that the children can creatively add additional pieces. This piece can also lead to some great conversations with families. A family who received just the artwork itself would be very proud of their child, but may only see it at face value, as paper cut out to look like a person. By including the additional information, they will be able to see all the learning that their child went through while completing this project. They will notice them naming shapes, seeing the importance of the heart relating to love, and adding pieces on their own. All of this is aided by the fact that the steps are shown rather than just a finished product. This is a great touch for both reflection and sharing that allows for an easy retroactive analysis days, months, or even years afterwards. Pedagogical documentation is a collection of evidence of a child's thinking over time. It is ongoing and evolving. This documentation is useful as we can use it to look back and to plan ahead. It allows for reflection and improves family connections. By looking at what the children are interested in now, we can then truly support children's learning in our programs for the future in the best way possible.